I had uh, been interested in the ways that uh, software could help with um, clarifying the goals of the museum. And so when uh, Maxwell Anderson started as director of the Indianapolis Museum in 2006, he brought with him a lot of ideas around why, why metrics of success were important for museum operation. And uh, our software team kind of turned that idea into a tool. So the dashboard was a tool with kind of a dual purpose. On, on one hand, it was about um, revealing some of the, the baseline stats about the museum and its success or lack of success. And it, it was kind of about uh, walking the talk, that if we said a certain set of things were important to the museum, we ought to be able to demonstrate our efforts in those areas in, with data, uh, with facts, not just opinions or spin. And so, uh, so with the dashboard, um, it was a, a great platform to share both the good stats and the bad stats. Uh, and we learned that actually the stats where we were failing were more important to share on the dashboard than the stats where we were succeeding because they, they illustrated uh, an area for improvement. They were a compelling case for improvement. Uh, and they added validity to the, to the good stats. I think Initially, there was some question about whether it would all be spin and propaganda, uh, and the, the failed statistics really offset that concern and said, hey, this is the real deal. So, uh, so that was one aspect. And the second aspect was in communicating to a, a fairly large staff um, what are the important elements of the strategic plan of the museum. So. It, it's easy to write a strategic plan. It's very hard to put it into the minds on a daily level of, of people in the museum. So the, the function of the dashboard as a way to track internal performance and review with ourselves whether or not we're doing a good job uh, is important. And uh, we made a choice that a lot of the statistics there should be manual and not automated so that uh, in that manual process, the, at least the person who's updating the statistic would be aware of it. Uh, whereas in an automated fashion, they're very easy to ignore uh, because you don't have to worry about it. The, the data robot will do it for you. And so, uh, but that's not what we wanted to achieve. Uh, the, the tool is much less important than the practice. So the practice is kind of threefold. Uh, first, it's about getting the stakeholders in your museum and on your governing boards to agree on what are the important measures of success. How do you define it? How do you know when it happens? How do you measure it by degree? Uh, and that's really the only way I can think of to prioritize between a set of good things. So uh, I think it's, I can't imagine how a museum would go through a, a process of choice making without being able to, to define what those kind of measures are. The only option, only other option is to do it based on opinion and, and that ultimately won't work for very long. So uh, the, I mean the second component is to, as a, as a tool for the staff to, to be able to stay plugged in and to evaluate whether or not they are actually succeeding in that way. Um, it's really hard to, to know that, and it's hard to iterate on that without some agreed set of measures. So having a tool that supports that is important. So I think that's where so very, very simple software can, can help. Even writing things on a whiteboard could help, <laughs> but it takes some discipline to do it. Um, but the third part is that uh, Museums, many museums have a component of public support, whether that's direct public support uh, in the form of money from local or federal governments, or uh, tax abatement, or uh, 
any, any variety of support. We certainly all have private supporters and um, being open about how we apply those resources and how we're making choices and not open in the means of a conversation where I'll tell you what I'm doing, but I want to show you what I'm doing. That's, uh, that's just smart business from a, from a not-for-profit standing to be able to demonstrate that your investment is used wisely for the purposes that we say it is uh, can only help drive future investment. So there's a saying that goes, it's a fear of uh, compare and despair, that they're afraid that by publishing that information, they'll be compared to their peers and that they won't stack up. So it ultimately boils down to fear. Um, but what they don't realize is that those comparisons are being made anyways, um, every day. And by not sharing that information, they are completely out of the control loop of influencing how those comparisons are made, whereby if they share the accurate truth about their museum, you can always fall back on the accurate truth. <laughs> and uh, you can then have some agency in mediating those comparisons uh, that comes from a position of uh, provable fact and not simply opinion. Ab absolutely, I think those peer organizations have an important role there. They, they do this already in benchmarking surveys. A lot of those surveys are, are uh, very carefully crafted and uh, shared in a limited fashion. Um, and the, the data in the surveys is tightly aggregated and anonymized, so it makes it very difficult to, to draw conclusions back to a single institution. Um, that is driven almost entirely by uh, this kind of attitude of, of fear and apprehension around what will happen if uh, I do this, um, as opposed to what, am, what opportunities am I missing if I don't do this? Um, it's just a completely different lens uh, on, on that side of that kind of discussion. Uh, you asked about national, national associations. I, I know more about those organizations in the States and certainly uh, the American Association of Museums and the Institute for Museum and Library Service uh, and then in my field, um, the Association of Art Museum Directors uh, are all three undertaking projects to aggregate statistics. Uh, but it will be interesting to see if any of them is willing to provide the raw data um, for analysis by the field. Uh, my bet is that, that we will get uh, aggregated statistics by region and and budget size instead of uh, instead of for specific institutions.